Well, folks, here's something a little bit different. Uh, I've decided to do or to review some corn that I've grown. This is a dwarf variety. I actually can't remember the name. I should have it on the title of the video when I po or post it. And it's a, uh, as you can see, it's supposed to be black kernel. I'm not sure if I've harvested this too early. It's kind of, well, maybe not black, but more kind of bluish black. Uh, looks about ripe. I've burst or, or I've burst some of these kernels, and the uh, the sap is milky white, uh, which is indicative of it being uh, ripe. But anyway, it's a uh, dwarf variety, so it only gets about three to four foot tall. This one's probably one of the taller ones, probably about five foot. We've a few in there. Uh, weeds are getting a bit crazy at the moment, and um, I've gotten one cob per plant so far. This one I think has put out a second one which I don't think will ripen up. We have one there, it's one there. They're pretty small cobs. Now granted, um, these are probably not the best specimens to uh, demonstrate this particular variety. I haven't grown them in the best conditions. Uh, and just by way of comparison, here's my other corn. Um, I forget the name of that one, but it's, uh, that's probably about 12 foot up there and that's hitting the roof, so probably would have been a bit taller than that. But uh, anyway, I'll come back to you. I'll bring it home, boil it and cook her up and see what she tastes like. And uh, here it is guys, all cooked up. Uh, so let's have a taste. Pretty nice. Not particularly sweet. Um, and not particularly watery. Not to say that corn does be watery, but I, I found there are some varieties that are really, really sweet. Um, almost sugary sweet. And it's usually the F1 varieties. Um, this is... Um, I've had organic corn before and it never tends to be as sweet as those. Um, it's quite starchy, still nice, has a nice corn flavour. Um, not the right home about Bob, but um, but anyway, that's uh, that's my uh, dark blue corn.